was good people. It's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants no hate. So now look, finally, somebody other than Bob Arum, as you know, Bob Arum addressed this on Sporting Icons last month or a month and a half ago, whatever it was, about this glove gate, these allegations that these fanboy channels are making. So now, Tyson Fury got wind of this, and I guess he's tired of the excuses, or maybe he just felt like, let me address this petty nonsense. Tyson Fury said, plain and simple, look, JDS was in my room when I got my hands wrapped. He inspected the gloves. He saw everything from, from start to finish. So, like I said, previous, pre previous videos, I've said, plain and simple, someone from each team is always in the other room, watching the hand wrapping, watching everything, okay? Always, always. So, Unless he has somebody, when he was talking about uncovering snakes and all that mowing the grass, what is he saying, right? You can say, well, maybe that's what he's talking about. He couldn't have been talking about that because he didn't fire J. Diaz, and J. Diaz was the one that Tyson Fury said was in his room, in his dressing room, watching the whole process, right? Listen, you see these stupid pictures I keep talking about? They keep... Having these little still shots with a little circle, red circle around them. There's something called Photoshop. People wake up. Let's be real. Okay? I got a partner. Got a picture standing with Big Daddy Kane. And the funny thing is I know where the picture came from. The original picture is Kane and Rakim. Rakim standing with the weird look on his face with the glasses on. And the hat, uh, uh, you know? And Kane standing there with his arm around him. That picture looks so authentic though. It, looks, it doesn't look Photoshopped at all. But I remember where it came from. Now, you take these same pictures. All of a sudden now, they they get a, a, a camera shot where it looks like the man knuckle prints. Not just his knuckles, but his entire fingers is in the glove. And you fools just jump to it. Yeah, see, I told you. I told you. It's proof. There's no proof of anything. Now, here's what's funny, right? Wilder, twerk master Wilder, he hasn't spoken up to say anything. What you think is more important? Now, he had this thing investigated if that was the case or he go twerk his ass and walk around singing, chilling, lighting up firecrackers and whatever. So what I'm saying, you guys are, 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 are like being fooled by this nonsense. Oh, the man has a dent in his head and they have, again, got a picture. Now, here's the crazy thing. They have a picture of a skull, okay? This is not a, a, a freaking x-ray, Okay? This is a picture of a skull with a dent in the top of it. This is not an x-ray. Okay, and not only that, how in the fuck would the LDBC or these guys, how would they get exclusive, how would they get access to this man's uh, me medical records and, and, and photos and things like that? Oh, his brother said blah, blah, blah. I don't care what his brother said, man. I haven't even heard his brother say anything, but even if that would have been the case, here's the deal. Wilder's being a sucker by sitting back letting this go this long. Fury finally, nah, you know what? Let me let me step in. Let me step in here and, and, and address this. And like I said, nobody from Team Wilder is investigating anything. There's nothing going on with this. With, with, there's no case. It's just you guys with these goof-ass channels coming up with this nonsense about, oh, he cheated. He, he the poison water uh, is it, it, proof. There's, there's, there's evidence that it was poison water. Okay, now Tyson Fury came forward and said his piece. So where's this doctor that's supposed to come out and talk about the X-rays, all right, and all these other things that he that he that that he has all this other evidence, the poison water, the 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 the, the metal object in his in, in, in the glove, and where's all this information? There's no information. There is no evidence. It's just a bunch of goof-ass fanboys that's sitting up here making up stupid stupid excuses because they can't just say, look, Wilder got beat. Even if Wilder didn't say it, that goes to show y'all y'all a bunch of damn sheep. Because even if he doesn't say it, that's how you guys need to look at it. Just like when AJ got beat, regardless to what we notice him not being right or whatever, he's not making any excuses. Why am I going to keep pushing that whole narrative? Hey, listen, he lost, he came back, he won his title. And part of that too was with y'all, you know why? Because y'all really don't believe he can beat Fury in the third fight. That's part of why y'all trying to press this so hard. Because y'all really don't believe he can beat him in the third fight. 
and the fact that you're making excuses of what we all seen happen. Now, all of a sudden, I mean, and the crazy thing about it is one, one, one time you look at it, the glove is green. The next time you look at it, the glove is red. So basically, both fights, he, he had metal in his hand or he cheated and did all this stuff. Wait, you guys are all over the place with these lies and excuses, man. Fury spoke up. So now, let's wait and see if Twerk Master Wilder finally comes out and say, look, man, stop the excuses. You know, I appreciate the love. This ain't even love. This is just ignorance. And y'all wonder, wonder why we don't get down with this goofball shit that y'all out here pulling. Oh, man, we all brothers, man. We Look, man, here's the deal, man. I don't have hate towards none of these people. I don't know them personally. But the stuff that y'all do is some sucker shit. It's some punk coward shit. I'm not down with it. I'm not making no excuses for nobody. So at the end of the day, all of that nonsense about glove gate and poison water and, and, and dents in the head and all this shit and, and, and some, some, some mysterious doctor that's supposed to be speaking up. And the crazy thing is y'all say these things like the videos are not still there. Like we can't go back and rewatch y'all say this shit that never comes to fruition. So where's all of this evidence? So now Twerk Master Wilder, that's who we waiting for. You know, he might be in the studio somewhere the dance hall and they're getting his twerk on. So let him get his twerk on when he finished. Let him let, let him come forward and say, hey, look, man, this is what it was. Yada, yada, whatever. And even if Wilder was to come out like a man and say, look, man, I lost plain and simple or whatever. Y'all fanboys will still make excuses and say, nah, Wilder, nah, he cheated, man. He had metal in his hand. The doctor said so. You you was poisoned, man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all would argue and disagree with Wilder. That's how big of fanboys y'all are. And y'all don't even understand how foolish you're making yourself look, making all these stupid videos and all these claims, but nobody's investigating nothing. Somebody do that shit to me. We gonna have a problem. Investigation or whatever I'm going to put these hands on you These feet, these knees, elbows Something going to happen to you I find out you did something like that We're going to have to go again Or we're going to have to go behind closed doors Or whatever We're going to have to do it again While they ain't saying none of that Twerk master ain't saying none of that Twerk master ain't worried about that Twerk master over there getting his groove on Y'all seen him He ain't worried about that dude He like a man that got a dent put in his head and He's This is y'all fanboys of this nonsense Anyway that's all I'm going to say On this video Twerk Master, it's on you. Catch y'all on the next one.